This is my uh, air pump. It's currently running 12 uh, airlift pumps um, that pump water in my greenhouses and to some of my plants. I'm just coming around and it's, uh, it's on a timer here. The timer um, goes on and off. Um, so it doesn't work uh, all through the day. Um, here is my, this is a manometer where the air pressure can be measured. So the air pressure on this currently is uh, 37 uh, see to the water here. So it's just a U-tube with um, colored water in it. So it's 37 and a half inches of uh, air pressure and that's plenty because the air pumps use about 25. So, come out here and I'll show you. I just made this up now. So, um, or I just got working now, or I mean tested it now. So, uh, this is coming from the air pump. And, <coughs> pardon me, it goes under this. And if this goes up like this, let's in water and or sorry let's air through the pipe and if it goes down it closes it off so down here in the thing is a float it's just a it's just a little ca um, plastic um, um, container that fits snugly in a round plastic container and it's uh, held on with um, a hook so what i'm going to do now i'm going to Pull this up like this. So I've lifted the um, I've lifted the float, and by lifting the float, I have pulled down on this. This is on a on a lever, so this is lifted up a bit. So um, I've lifted the float, and water uh, air is being pushed out uh, through this, and it. Uh, pumps water um, out of this and into this and that will slow down the uh, will raise back up the float and when it raises back up, up the float this will go down and uh, close off this valve so I'm just going to um, I'm going to go one more I'm going to go one more turn on it And I'm going, so the air is also under the same pressure through this pipe. And so the same thing is happening over here. The water is coming out from this closed off one into this empty one. And it connected to a wheel here and I don't know if it's going to show but this is moving um, because this hammer is going down as the float there raises the weight here lowers and I think you can probably see it oh, well, it's steady enough So it's moving very slowly. And the, the weight here is moving down very, very slowly. And um, this is turning this, and this is going to be a mount for a solar cooker. Oh, you can actually see. You can see that it's moving. moving very slowly so what I'm planning to do is uh, I, I bought a little a little motor that turns really really slowly so instead of this I'm gonna have the tiny little motor it's gonna draw this in at the right speed it's it's gonna be on a it's gonna be on a wheel 
and it's going to go at the right speed in uh, so that that thing will move uh, to follow the sun. And uh, the motor can run all day and um, solar cooker, or solar panel, whatever. Oh, I'm here, it's slowing down now. So now it's stopping. And just to prove that there's no trick involved, I'm just going to pull it one more time. And it starts off quickly. Uh, and see how quickly it stops. Oh, very quickly too. But um, yeah, it's um, it's uh, I, uh, it might be, uh, it it means that um, you'll be able to turn five or six uh, solar cookers at one time or solar panels at one time with just uh, low pressure air. Uh, this isn't exactly, it should be obvious, it's not exactly what I'm planning to do, but uh, it's just a quick demo. Thank you.